energy and endurance. Part of my disagreement with so much social emphasis has to do with how tired and exhausting the, the task gets eventually. Going to Facebook, going to Instagram, going to the grocery store with your phone, you know, with, with the phone in the hand, doing stuff, going home, back to the phone, back to the computer, and most of what's getting done on the computer and on the device are social. No matter how small the task, energy is being used. Sitting and meditating, no mind, just Omani Padmi Hum. A slow, gradual decline. Groups online, messages on Facebook, online dating website profiles to go through in the email, conversations on Twitter, conversations. On the internet. All require energy and effort. And not only does a person get going to do those activities and those tasks and those examples, completing the necessary requirements and the expectations from friends and loved ones about etiquette and responsibleness, They're adding extra stimulus. The device, the electricity, the power, the energy from what's being looked at. The blue light people talk about. And the amount of information being given to the person the colors, the numbers, the letters, the addresses, the pictures, the videos, the advertising. Full of stimulus. but mostly disregarded as unnecessary. Explained by the progress being made, organizing a group to march and tell Amazon they need to pay taxes. And the butterflies from the online date on a schedule in the email in the file on the laptop.
energy in this part of life with so much stimulus involved gets harder to keep track of and identify when there's a need to recharge and re-energize <laughs> mostly from the stimulus a mouse will probably run around going for a stimulus until the person giving the stimulus and the reward for the creature has to go home and go to bed The wolf hunts and gets its energy with its pack and its stimulus from safety, calm and precision. The mouse and the rat going towards the stimulus and the reward and behaving correctly to receive those benefits. uses energy different. It gets that big old jolt, that rush of energy, and then goes back and does it again. The wolf hunts and eats and goes with its pack and does and goes. Fast and precise, and then with the rat and the mouse. Excitement and more stimulus. And then to the human, receiving the energy, and then not always going towards the next energy, making the energy into a stimulus, going towards a goal for the more optimized brain and body, with a mind working towards a purpose. The deeper, more complex task until there's a need for more energy. Going has to do with freedom. Getting energy and going, getting America going.
helping people, loving one another, and working towards a happy and beautiful world. And the going with freedom has to do with those spontaneous people along the way, the spontaneous snack, getting a cup of coffee, sitting and meditating in the park, and maybe taking an hour nap. to physically regain energy from the rest and then nutritionally in food recharging the body, the brain later. The process, the, the, the system, the process, however it gets described, has flexibility. Fasting, spreading out the energy, consumption but the going always goes in the same direction the going doesn't just turn into some fantasy imaginary consciousness in a described simulation video game The going goes with time. Time being relevant and important for sleep and helping the body be strong and powerful to not only go, but get the energy. Getting the energy has as much importance as going does for, in this instance, America. The strong and the powerful body getting the energy wants those good choices and those better options, the vegetables, the bone broth, the protein. And can go to the grocery store where it's affordable, can go to the food bank that has what they need. And then the limits for the strength and power are the energy. And not some mind belief in eating yams and taking drugs to be Superman or Wonder Woman. Talking tough and looking gorgeous. More endurance, better energy choices.